guys, Brain the Scare Lion back with another video and joined once again by Pterodactyl Tom. Wah, wah. And today we're going to be running through our predictions for NXT TakeOver 25. Uh, we've got this week and one more week left of wrestling predictions, but I will be doing next week's predictions solo. Tell them why, Thomas. Because it's another glorified house show. And uh, them, them saying it's like the equivalent to WrestleMania as well, that's just absolutely fucking shit. What the fuck is <laughs> going on? Just the, because it's in Saudi Arabia <clears throat> does not mean that it's just like WrestleMania. Trust me, uh, like it's one of them. I, I second guess covering it as well, but I cover all, rep, all, all the WWE's wrestling uh, pay per views, so I've got to cover this. And this is just stupid <laughs> shit, though. So it will be a solo one next week, but I do have plans for it, don't worry. But uh, with that being said, should we get into the pay-per-view that will not let us down? Yes. Let's get into TakeOver. So the first match that we've got is Matt Riddle versus Roderick Strong. Who have you got in this one and why? Well, I'm hoping for another incredible match. We've seen the, these two fight uh, facing up on NXT, mm. which, was like, which was a really good match, just a, a bit of a shame with the finish, but uh, I mean, uh, it's, it, do you really ever see a bad match for Matt Riddle really? And Roderick Strong, to be uh, honest with you. To be fair, well it's NXT. Right, uh, but uh, I, I've got Matt Riddle, I'm hoping he's going to get a better finish than he did against them, like actually on, actually on NXT TV. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, for me on this one, I'm going to be going with Roderick Strong. I feel like Roderick Strong... Oh, wait, no, actually, I'm going to go with Matt Riddle. I'll talk a little bit later as to why. So, next up, we're going to talk about the NXT North American Championship match, which is Velveteen Dream versus a returning Prince Prey. Prince Prey. Um, so, who have you got in this, Brian? Well... Do you know what? Uh, I, I absolutely love Dream. Dream is fucking incredible. But I am so glad that Prince Pretty's moved uh, back to NXT. I'm not going to say back down because, let's be honest, NXT is the best brand. It is. So I'm not going to say down. He's moved over to NXT. He's moved up. Uh, pretty much he's moved up. Um, but uh, I, for me, it, it's got to be bad saying this. I, don't want to see Dream losing the title, but uh, on the same hand, I, I, I want to see Prince Pretty with this championship. I fucking love him. Uh, he was underutilized on the main, main roster. roster, so I feel like this will probably be like his little, you know what, heels for every little bit of shit that he had to put up with, and he'll get the championship on this. Uh, well, it'd be good seeing him, seeing him holding the championship. But I see a uh, link for title ring coming for Velveteen. You see Dream going with it for a while? So, I, so I'm so i saying Dream to return. It would be good seeing a link for title ring with that title. They've just been getting past the run. Aye, it is, but I kind of want to see friends pretty well. So the next match that we've got on the card is for the NXT Women's Championship. This is Shayna Baszler versus Io Shirai. Who have you got on this one and why, Thomas? I've got Shayna Baszler. Just because Shayna Baszler again. I, I just want to see a runner for a, literally the entire women's locker room on NXT. And then some, be like, right, I've got their challenge. And then we, we see a debut for somebody. Oh, fair right, enough. And then, like, hey. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, for me, I'm going to be gone with Eel Shirai on this. I know it's Mary Akese, uh it's Mel and Lightly that Baszler will re retain. But no, I, I kind of want to see... The championship going to somebody no no. Because no, said no, no. no, no. Uh but I on the one hand, fucking Basler is fantastic. She has done great things with this championship. She's made it a proper, proper prestigious championship. She has. But I think it's time for a change up. And I think Eel Shirai is the right person to do it. We'll we'll get to see a lot more high flying championship matches and shit. Yeah. So, aye, I'm going with EO on this. I, I like my like the gritty ground and pound kind of stuff mm. that Shayna Baszler, so... Aye, she's fucking brilliant. <laughs> so next up we're going to talk about the NXT 
Tag Team Championships, which is the Undisputed Era. I don't, I don't know. Well, it's Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly because they're the two of both matches. Versus the Street Profits. Versus the Forgotten Sons. Versus Danny Butch and Oni Lorcan. Oni Lorcan. So have you got in this, Brian? Uh, in this one, I have got the Undisputed Era. I've got Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly to win this and uh, take the championships. Uh, and as I did with the first one, I will explain later as to why. I've got an Undisputed Era as well. I can't, got I, I can't, I can't go against the Undisputed Era. That's fair enough. I mean, big, he's like a massive Undisputed Era fan. Yep. So now we move on to the final match of the night. And this is for the NXT Championship. It is Johnny Gargano versus Adam Cole. Baby! This time in a singles match, uh, the last time they had a two out of three falls and they played on that way, Adam Cole picking up the first victory. And it was, he, he was like, you know what, I want that shot again. I could do it if it was just the one victory. Right. So who have you got in this one and why? Adam Cole. Uh, I think it was a bit obvious that he was going to go with Adam Cole here. Adam Cole, just, just because it's Adam Cole. Nothing more to expand on that? He no, deserves the championship now. He does, he does. Because he debuted attacking the NXT champion and they've done nothing with that since, so... Well, for me, I am taking the same. I'm taking Adam Cole here. And here's a big reason why. Going back to the two points that I made earlier. It seems like we're starting to see a fracture within uh, the Undisputed Era. I feel like uh, we're going to see Roderick Strong lose, and he's going to be the only member of Undisputed Era to lose tonight. Well, tonight, Aye. you know. Uh, but I, I feel like he's going to be the only one to lose, and that's going to cause friction between him and Adam Cole, uh, eventually imploding, and uh, we'll prop we might even see Roderick Strong versus Adam Cole for the NXT Championship. Going out of this. I, I hope not. He, he doesn't want to see Undisputed Era break up no, no. ever. He wants them to be like the New Day and just fucking ride through forever. I want them, I want them to be like four horsemen. When, and uh, an extra thing on top, never leave NXT. Eh? <laughs> never move up to Sm Well, I say up, I did it there. No, uh, never, never move, move to SmackDown or Raw. Never move down. To be fair, they're like the biggest names <laughs> on fucking NXT anyway. Yeah. Uh, so I, there's there's our predictions. We're looking forward to what should be a really good, a really really good night of wrestling. Uh, yeah, what, sure. uh, prediction for match of the night? Ooh, I'll say Dream against Prince Bright. I was going to say the same anyway. Dream against Prince Bright should be a fucking incredible match. I am so looking forward to that. You know what? What should also be an incredible match? The four way fatal tag team for the tag team titles. I'm I'm really really, really looking. Forward. Uh, one thing I want to point out, uh, everybody's been talking about WWE versus AEW and everything. To, to be fair, we've got a lot of rivalries going on at the minute. We've got NXT versus WWE. Like, Trips and fucking Vince are at heads. Uh, but if, if AEW has really got any competition, it's with NXT. It is. <laughs> I think that's why, they went out, why Cody went after Triple H. To be fair, I... If, if this went anyway, I, I could see Triple H just gone behind Vince's back, buying out NXT and taking it out to be its own thing. Mm. He'd be able to make a great fucking company, he'd be able to make a great living out of it. Uh, I think the main problem is his wife is the daughter of Vince. Uh, not well. But there you go. Uh, <laughs> we, we started rambling about stuff naughty there with the actual pay-per-view itself. So the punishments for this. Um, Thomas was pissing about not that long ago. And he found out that the mouse traps actually do hurt when done to different areas. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, when we did the punishment, he did it to an area where it didn't hurt. We're going to do fingers. That's what you did it to, and it hurt like hell. I don't know, it's in my thumb. And it felt like I broke my thumb. He said it was hurting all day. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the mouse trap punishment again, but this time it will work. Yes, it will. Because Tom knows it works. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and what we've decided today is uh, we've got the punishments the double and nothing to go. What we'll do is we'll put them all into one video. So you'll get to see all three punishments in that one video. That's fair enough. Uh, any closing statements you want to make? Wah! Wah! Um, I anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, 
Don't forget to buff up that like button.